Harry knows best. On your desk, you'll find a scalpel, a skull chisel, rib shears, dental forceps, a mini camera, and a digital scanner. Guess who you are? No, not a serial killer. You are a pathologist. And now, Harry will tell all about your new job. Prepare to be amazed. It's time to perform your duties. Let's clarify right away that there are different types of pathologists. Some are investigating the causes of death. They are also called medical examiners. Some deal with people who have died of natural causes. And forensic pathologists prepare human bodies for analysis, drain all the liquids, make a Y-shaped incision, and remove all the organs. And this is your work uniform. A lab coat, a special apron, rubber boots, a scrub cap, and a surgical mask. Those items protect you from getting splashed and also solve the very important problem with finding a Halloween costume. By the way, though perfectly capable of getting others scared, you may get spooked as well. Some bodies may come to life, right on your autopsy table. Thanks to the Lazarus Syndrome, your work routines are no longer boring. Your deceased patient may also emit grumbling sounds. This happens because of all the air that is compressed in the lungs of the body being moved around. But generally, it is very quiet in the morgue section. You'll be able to hear a single droplet of water fall at the far end of the corridor. Also, prepare for other people being afraid of you and saying weird things about you. Things like pathologists consume human flesh or reuse the organs of the deceased. To stop the gossip once and for all, just arrange the mature of your workplace.